It used to be that people who played video games were considered nerdy or childish. Those preconceptions are largely gone now, in an age when many adults have been playing video games their entire lives. When people young and old play games on their phones to pass the time in waiting rooms, non-gamers are more open than ever to playing games, which means it's important for serious gamers to know which games to play with non-gamers to ease them into our favorite pastime. So let's dig in and look at 10 great games you can play with the non-gamers in your life. Be sure to let us know what you think below. Also, subscribe to the channel and and hit the notify button so you can stay on top of all the latest content from the gamer. Overcooked one of the biggest barriers non-gamers face when they decide to play a game is the controller. Modern game controllers are stuffed with buttons, sticks, and triggers, all of which can be off-putting to someone who doesn't know their X from their L3. So when looking for a game to play with a non-gamer, it's wise to pick one that doesn't require you to do finger gymnastics just to play it. Overcooked on PS4, Xbox One, and PC is a great game to play with non-gamers because of its simple controls. You don't need to master all the buttons and sticks to play this game. All it requires for the vast majority of the time is the left stick and a single button. The idea is simple. Up to four chefs get to run around a wide variety of kitchens. All you have to do is complete the orders as they come in. This means preparing ingredients, cooking food, plating, and delivering the finished product to the serving window. The trick is maintaining the flow of the steps, something that's much easier said than done. Fail to wash the plates that come back, and you won't have anywhere to put your prepared meal, at least until you wash the dirty dishes. Forget about a pot on the stove, and you'll soon have burned food, or worse, a kitchen fire. Be warned that playing Overcooked can and will be a stressful experience, but if your co-op partner can handle the heat, there's a good chance you'll both want to stay in this kitchen. Jackbox Party Pack 3 Next time you have a group of people over at your house that don't normally play video games, you might want to grab any of the Jackbox Party Pack games. Each Party Pack contains a bundle of five endlessly entertaining mini-games that just about anyone can enjoy. For instance, one is Quiplash, a game that gives a couple of the players the setup to two jokes. Then they have to write in the funniest punchlines they can come up with. Once that's done, everyone who didn't participate votes on which answers they think are the funniest. The standout mini-game in Jackbox Party Pack 3 is Trivia Murder. Murder Party, a goofy minigame that's set up like a Saw movie. A demented murderer has kidnapped the players and has a list of trivia questions for them to answer. If multiple players answer a question wrong, they have to compete against one another in micro challenges, like answering a math problem the quickest. Perhaps the best thing about Jackbox is you don't even need a controller to play it. You just need a smartphone, tablet, or any other device with a web browser. Just start the game, have everyone go to a website and enter the game's code, and you're off to the races. Super Mario 3D World Let's be honest, most people have played at least one Mario game in their life, whether they're a gamer or not, which makes Mario a perfect choice to play with people who don't normally play video games. The great thing about Mario games is that they're mostly about running around and jumping. Sure, Nintendo packs all kinds of color and creativity into each level, but the basics are easy for non-gamers to pick up. Super Mario 3D World is one of the best installments in recent years. It allows up to four players to work together to complete a variety of platforming levels. There's tons to do and lots of secrets hidden in every level, making it a blast just to run around and explore. The unique cat power-up even lets you run up walls. And while previous installments like Super Mario Galaxy offered wide open expansive worlds for Mario to explore, the levels in Super Mario 3D Land are much more compact, making them more inviting to gaming newbies. It's also helpful that the Wii U is compatible with standard Wii controllers, because you probably have a few of these in a closet somewhere. Snipper Clips if you have a Nintendo Switch and the downloadable game Snipper Clips, you have everything you need for a brilliant co-op gaming experience, regardless of whether or not Trusty Player 2 plays video games. Snipper Clips is a two-player puzzle game that wrings a lot of variety out of a simple set of controls. Each player controls a tab of paper that's squared off at one end and rounded on the other. The goal changes depending on what level you're playing, but you usually have to work together to solve a physics puzzle, like moving the tip of a pencil into a pencil sharp. To solve the puzzles, you and your partner often have to cut each other into special shapes. Figuring out what shapes you need to be and how to cut each other into those shapes is part of the fun. The other part is trying to sync up your movements to accomplish whatever goal the level presents you with. As with most puzzle games, it's much more fun to play than it is to hear about. But by giving you such a simple set of tools to work with, Snipper Clips is just as welcoming to non-gamers as it is to hardcore ones. Boggle with friends. 
Plenty of mobile games could land on this list, but Boggle with Friends is special. First off, it's based on a board game many non-gamers are already familiar with, making for an easy transition into the digital version. Secondly, it's easy to learn. If you can spell words, you can play. Basically, each match presents players with a grid of letters. Your job is to find as many words in the jumble as possible. As with most games with high replay value, this is easier said than done. To jazz things up beyond Boggle's board game basics, this version offers power-ups that can help you crank up your scores. These do things like highlighting words you've missed and turning the board for a new perspective on the jumble. Each match has you going up against a friend or stranger to see who has more talent in the seek and find department. One of the best things about Boggle with Friends is that you can even play it across platforms, meaning one player can be on an Android phone while another person is on an iPhone. Not many games are that adaptable. Come to think of it, not many games are this fun either. Diablo 3 the great thing about Diablo 3 for non-gamers is that it starts off incredibly simple. You and your friends begin each new adventure with a severely limited set of moves. Mostly, you just run around, find enemies to kill, and mash buttons until they're all dead. It's simple, but strangely enjoyable thanks to the game's fantastic art design and the heft the animations and sound effects give to your blows. As you slay more and more enemies, you gain levels and become more powerful. As you do so, you also unlock new moves, one at a time. Eventually, each player is controlling a powerful warrior with an array of attacks, spells, and powers that can take down even the toughest of enemies. The other big thing that drives you on in Diablo 3 is loot. You're constantly finding new weapons and armor pieces you can equip to make your character even more powerful. It's this gameplay loop of killing enemies and incrementally increasing your character's strength and defenses that gets under your skin. Even if you're not normally a gamer, there's a good chance you'll be hooked. Until Dawn If your non-gamer friend is a fan of horror movies, look no further than Until Dawn, a game that's essentially an interactive horror film. But it's not a traditional horror game like Resident Evil or Dead Space. It's more like an adventure game that prizes your ability to make choices over your skills with a weapon. The game centers on a group of teens who make an ill-fated decision to spend a night in the woods. While that premise won't win any awards for originality, Until Dawn makes good use of it by introducing a killer into the mix. and having the teens split up in all kinds of unfortunate ways, though depending on what choices you make and how well you ace the game's quick time events, you can finish the game with everyone alive or no one alive. Their fate is in your hands, so here's hoping you and your non-gamer friends can keep an even keel while being attacked by a murderer. Laura Croft and the Temple of Osiris Laura Croft and the Temple of Osiris may look similar to Diablo 3 but it plays very differently. The gameplay here is based more on solving puzzles to get from room to room than on combat or loot. But it's another game that's perfect for gamers to play alongside their less experienced friends. For one thing, non-gamers are probably familiar with the source material for this one because it stars Laura Croft, the heroine of the Tomb Raider series. Thanks to the success of these games, along with a pair of films with Angelina Jolie in the title role, Laura Croft is one of the few video game characters that has become a household name over the past couple decades. What makes this a great co-op game to play with non-gamers is that you and your partner have to work together to solve puzzles to progress through the game. Sure, you'll still have to deal with enemies, but you'll spend a whole lot more time trying to figure out things like how to reach a high ledge or turn a crank that's across a pit. The controls are easy to learn, and everything you need to solve the puzzles is on screen in front of you. All it takes is some clever thinking and a little teamwork. Gone Home there's no action in Gone Home, which means there's no way for non-gamers to feel like they're unequipped to deal with what the game has in store. And what it has in store is something quite special. In Gone Home, you play as a young woman whose family has moved into a new house while you were spending a year in Europe. When you get back into the States and approach the new house, you find that no one's home. The rest of this two-hour game is just you exploring the new house, rummaging through drawers, reading letters and diary entries, and trying to figure out what your family's been up to in your absence. There's an air of foreboding, and some of the clues you find will send your mind reeling about what actually happened to your family members. Avoid spoilers before playing, because the end will seem both surprising and inevitable. Gone Home focuses on narrative over action, so don't hesitate to hand the controller to your non-gamer friends. 
chances are they'll wonder why they haven't been playing games all along. Now before we go on to our number one pick, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And for more awesome videos like this about comics, gaming, and more, subscribe to CBR. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild may seem an unlikely candidate as far as games for non-gamers go. After all, it's an enormous open world game that doesn't exactly hold your hand as you play. Early on when you have little health and stamina, you can expect to die, sometimes even after a single hit. This game fully embraces the idea of teaching through trial and error, but with a little help equipping items and getting used to the dual stick controls, non-gamers can find the exact same rewards that gamers have found in this modern masterpiece. With little built into the game to guide you, non-gamers and gamers find themselves on similar ground when they enter the world of Hyrule for the first time. Exploration is the name of the game, so Nintendo has planted fun things to find and do everywhere on the map. Throw in Link's ability to climb every wall and leap off every cliff thanks to his paraglider and you've got a recipe for adventure, whether you've been playing games for decades or just a few minutes. So, what do you think of our picks for the best video games to play with non-gamers? Which ones have your non-gamer friends enjoyed playing with you? We hope you enjoyed our video, so let's hear your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our great videos in the future.